Hello all, uh, welcome to the lecture on development of lateral calculus solid. Uh, so we will be starting this new topic today. So let's uh, let's go through the question that we are going to solve on this topic. So I am just going to read the question. Uh, a pentagonal prism 30 mm base, 60 mm axis is standing on HP on its 100 feet base with one side perpendicular to BP. It is cut by section 10 inclined 45 degrees to HP uh, through 35 mm passing through a point 35 mm from the base on the axis. Draw the front view, sectional top view, sectional side view. Also draw the true shape of the section and development of the lateral surface of the remaining solid. Right. So we have already studied the uh, section of solid part. So we will also uh, now, now we will do the development. So before solving the uh, question, we will just briefly go through what do you mean by development. Okay. So uh, this is a pentagonal uh, prism. See, pentagonal prism. Right. Now when you do development of uh, lateral surfaces of solid, uh, you are going to assume that the solid, uh, the solid object is hollow. And the surface, the surface is made of a thin sheet. Right. This entire surface is made of a thin sheet. Right. So when you do development, you are going to cut open the solid from one of the sides. So suppose I cut open the solid from say side A. So I am going to cut open the solid from along this side and I am going to unfold the surface of the solid okay, onto the and place it on the plane paper. Okay. Now when I unfold the solid uh, whatever I get and when I unfold the solid surface and when I place it in plane here, whatever I get that is called as the development. That is called as the development. And as far as your syllabus is concerned, we are going to do development of only the lateral surface. Alright. So top and the base, this, this top and the base face are ignored in the development. Right? So for a pentagonal prism, the development will be 5 rectangles placed uh, place, uh, adjacent to each other. So if the height of the prism is h and length of each side of the prism, uh, pentagon of the prism is l, then your development will be h and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it will be the total area of the development will be rectangle of shape and size will be size will be H Y five L H Y five. Right. So this is what you, uh, broadly what you would understand by uh, development. Okay. Right. So let's uh, go back to our prism, uh, our question. Uh, that is a pentagonal prism, and it is of thirty mm base and height uh, sixty mm. Okay. So first, we'll construct the pentagonal prism. First, construct the X Y. Then uh, draw a line perpendicular to x y. Okay. And on this uh, perpendicular line, so this is the construction line. Right. On this construction line, draw the side. And length of this side is given as that is given in the question. Right? Now, from the two ends of the side, 
draw two lines each at 108 degrees as you must be familiar that is the angle between the adjacent sides of a pentagonal prism right. then from each of these corners cut two arcs one and two and wherever they meet so this is 30 mm so also 30 mm cut two arcs uh, each of 30 mm all right so that completes the uh, pentagonal prism all right now uh, draw projectors from each of the five corners perpendicular to x y and wherever they meet the x y axis mark this point I am just going to erase all ink on the side and you also have to now determine the axis. So for determining the axis, draw perpendiculars from any two adjacent corners. So one perpendicular number one and the second corner perpendicular number two, wherever they meet, that is your axis. So from that point, draw a vertical line. That is indicating the axis. Okay. Now, wherever these projectors meet the xy line, mark those points and draw the uh, lateral edges. And the lateral edges will be equal to these are the lateral edges, and that will be equal to the length of axis that is equal to 60 millimeters all right. so all these are 60 millimeters all right. and then close the prism from the top all right so this is the outline now, as you can see i have not made the outline dark these are all construction lines So these are all construction lines. So now, from uh, now, you are now you have to construct the section plane. Now the section plane is given at a distance of 35 mm from the base. So draw a construction line at a distance of 35 mm from the base. So this distance is 35. Mm. And wherever this construction line intersects the uh, axis, mark that point. Right? Now, through this point, draw the section plane. Okay, so this is the section plane. And the way to show the section plane, make the it is the center line basically, but the ends are thicker. So make the ends thick. All right. So this is the section plane, and the angle made by the section plane is 45 degrees. Okay. Right. Now again after that, so this is the front view. Uh, some details are to be added. Uh, so that we will see in just a minute. Uh, as now important thing to note that see the difference between the prism and the pyramid. In case of prism, there are no lateral, no lateral edges. All right. Okay. Now uh, we will now construct the side. All right. So to construct the side view, draw a line uh, at some distance from the prism. Let's mark some point at some distance from the uh, prism and draw a line at 45 degrees. Okay. Now you are going to use the projector. Uh, now before uh, doing the construction, uh, I am going to 
mark all the points let's hide this one erase or oh, ink on the slide and i'm going to mark all the points okay so a b c d and e okay and it's for the base and top it will be one two three four five uh, similarly in the front view it will be a dash b dash comma e dash and c dash comma t dash and on the top face it will be one dash then two dash comma five dash i am writing the numbers on the figure itself as far as possible you should avoid it uh, but here i have no space so i am writing it on the figure okay and i can erase it also okay. and this would be three dash comma four dash all, right. so all the points in front view and uh, side view, uh, front view and top view are marked now we will construct the side view by constructing the project okay so now first uh, uh, we, we have this 45 degree line so we are going to transfer all the points from the front view and top view onto the side view so i'm just going to make the points slightly larger okay. now draw the projector from any two points so i am drawing it from e and b all right and wherever they intersect the 45 degree line mark those points let's draw it horizontally mark the intersection points and then from the intersection point draw the two projectors vertically up okay similarly draw a horizontal projector from the top face all right so these are my points in side view and i'm going to mark them so this is e e double dash and this is b double dash series two double dash and this is five double dash okay so as you can see the points in the side view are marked with double dash Instead of point point in the front view are marked with single dash, and to distinguish it with, uh, with the front view, they are marked with double dash. All right. Similarly, draw projectors from C and D. All right. Mark the intersection point, <coughs> and then transfer these points vertically up. Just horizontal, and then vertically up. So that is. B double dash, C double dash, C double dash, four double dash. Similarly, draw projectors from A one horizontal. Draw the projector, mark the intersection point, transfer vertically up, and mark the points. And this will be my point A, A double dash, and and this will be one double dash. Okay. As you can see, I am not making anything dark uh, right now. So once I draw. Uh, get the section then i am going to make everything dark okay so then i have to decide what is retained what is removed all right so now uh, you have your section plane let's call this so wherever this so this is your 
right so this is your uh, section pin So I'm just going to make the end stick. That's the correct way to represent the section plane. Okay. And wherever this section plane cuts the solid, mark the points. So I'm just going to give a slightly different color so that the other points of the pyramids are the same. So, wherever the section plane cuts the uh, lateral edges of the uh, prism, I am going to mark all those points. So, as you can see, uh, there are 5 lateral edges. So, the section plane cuts all the lateral edges. So, there will be 5 points. Okay? So, I am going to um, mark them and I am going to mark them, give them some alphabet. So, this will be P dash, Q dash. R dash and S dash T dash and in top view this will be T Q R But R, uh, S, this will be T. Right. Now these points I have to transfer it on the onto the side. So to how to transfer them? So we are going to construct projectors. Okay. So first uh, construct it. Projector from S dash comma T dash, okay, and S dash comma T dash, they are uh, on D dash, four dash, and C uh, sorry C double dash, T double dash, right? So these two points. Similarly, draw projectors from Q dash R. And wherever they cut the side, so Q dash R dash are on uh, B2 and E5. This is R. R double dash and Q double dash. So this will be T double dash and S double dash. Alright, and then uh, similarly transfer P dash. So P dash lies on A double dash and one double dash. Alright, so now you have your all your five points: P double dash, R double dash, Q double dash, T double dash, S double dash. Join all these points. That will be done. Now make this P double dash, Q double dash, S double dash, P double dash, Q double dash, S double dash, T double dash and R double dash. That represents your section. Okay. So uh, that is the cut part of the solid. So make that dark. Okay. Now. Now, 
whatever part of the solid is retained that I am going to make it dark. See, so for top view, the observer is over here. So the part of the object between the section plane and the observer is removed. Okay, and the rest is retained. So whatever part is retained, I am going to make it dark. And same part, I am going to make it dark in the side view. So whatever is below this R double dash, P double dash, Q double dash, that is retained. Whatever is above is removed. All right. So I am going to make the part dark. Now, whatever, wherever the object is cut, that uh, portion is to be shown by hatching. So, draw the hatching. All right. And similarly, draw the hatching lines in the top. All right. So, this is your sectional side view. This is your section and top. Right. So that completes the sectional side view and sectional top. Right. Now next we will construct the true shape of the section. Okay. So for constructing the true shape of the section, see we don't need this uh, side view. Okay. So I am just going to uh, I am going to eliminate this side view part, side view part, sectional side view part. And I am just going to reconstruct the front view and the top view of the side. Sectional front view and the top view of the side. So this is just sectional front view and top view of the solid. All the parts. P dash. P dash. Q dash. R dash. S dash and T dash. A, B, C, D, and D. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, A dash, B dash, B dash. One dash, two dash, five dash, three dash, four dash. All right. So to draw the true shape, make this section plane parallel to it. So draw the section plane and on this section plane mark all the points. So this will be point P dash, this will be Q dash, R dash and this will be S dash, Q dash. Okay. Now we will draw the true shape of the section. To draw the true shape of the section, draw projectors from all these points. So starting with S dash, T dash. Drop a projector vertically down. And similarly, uh, let's mark the point. Okay. So, P, Q, R, P, Q, R. S and S is P. Okay. All right. So projectors from S dash and T dash. So similarly, draw projectors from S and T. So it's these two points. This is S and this is P. Okay. Wherever they intersect the vertical projector, mark those points. Similarly, draw projectors from Q and R vertically down. Q dash, sorry, Q dash and R dash vertically down, and draw horizontal projections from projectors from Q and R. And mark the intersection points. And one more from P vertically down and 
p dash vertically down and from p sorry where the intersect so this is p this is r q and r and this is s and t right join all these points okay so this is the true shape and since it is cut show the patch all right so this is the true shape of the the section or okay so that completes the true shape of the section so that completes the uh, true shape part so this is the uh, final solution with the sectional front view top view and side view and true shape of the section all right so now we will not uh, we don't need this true shape part uh, so i am just going to uh, reconstruct the uh, this remaining portion uh, for the development okay so next we are going to do the development part so i am just going to reconstruct this part and i'm going to rename all the points So uh, now we are going to do the development. So we are going to do the development over here in this part. Right. So to do to do the development, draw projector from the top and the bottom of the cylinders, and then construct a reference line, vertical reference line. And other reference lines over here. Second, so the the development of this prism total will be uh, a rectangle. Height of this recta, uh, rectangle will be equal to the height of the prism, that is 60, and the length will be, since there are uh, a pentagonal prism is has five sides, so it will be five times the length of each side, that is 30, so it will be total one. Total length is 150. All right. Now you have to divide this into five equal parts. So divide this into five equal parts. So each segment will be equal to 30. Okay. So this represents the complete development. That, that is the development of the entire uh, lateral surface of the solid. But we are going to, uh, we need to consider the development of the retained portion of the solid. So, the part which is remaining after the section is taken, alright. So, uh, that is part which is remaining, okay. So, as you can see, I have uh, drawn this outline with construction line. So, you have to draw, initially you make it with construction line. Later on, we will only make the part which is retained dark, okay. Uh, right, okay. Now, uh, you can open this solid about any of the uh, lateral edges. I am opening about this lateral edge. Okay, so I am cutting the solid about this lateral edge. Okay, this is lateral edge, and I am cutting it about this lateral edge. Okay, so that is uh, nothing but that edge is A1. All right. So when when in development, it is represented by capital. This A. Let me first. Erase all the uh, ink on the slide. Not entirely. These are the things I need. Okay. 
so i am going to cut the solid along a1 this is a1 so this is also a1 okay and this will be b c d e and again a and this will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 and again 1 so for the first and the last is the same okay now one by one we are going to transfer these points on the on the developer okay so uh, let's mark all the points in section 10 and we will use a different color now again okay. uh, to differentiate so this is and so there are five points you see so this is p dash u dash r dash s dash t dash okay so let's start with s dash t dash so s dash t dash lies on 3 dash c dash and 4 dash phi dash 4 dash d dash all right so drop uh, draw a projectors from 3 dash 4 dash and wherever it cuts the edge mark the point so this is a c 4 and if you remember, we have marked it this P, Q, and R, and this is S, and this is P. Okay. S and P. Okay. So S. So S is on D four. So this is S. And this is sorry, T is on D four. So P, this is P on D4 and this is S on 3C, okay. So this is S on 3C and P on D4, okay. Similarly draw uh, projectors from Q dash and R dash. Okay. So Q is on Q is on D2 and R is on 5E. This is R. Okay. And then one more point is remaining there is P dash. So again, draw a projection from P dash. And P dash is on A1. This is All right. Now join all these points P, Q, S, T, R, and P, and the lower portion. So whatever portion is retained, uh, including this folding edges, I am going to make it dark. All right. So this is the final development. Okay. Now let's So that completes the total time. I hope you will be able to solve this problem. Uh, thank you.